Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing your next big chapter. This is all gonna be about your career life, anything about moving, relationships, what do you need to know from your spirit guides. So I know a lot of you guys are moving, I know a lot of you guys are changing jobs, we've got a lot of money stuff coming up, so we're just gonna be highlighting everything and a lot of you guys wanted to know about this sort of thing. And I'm also going through this stuff myself. So. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys. So we have three groups here. We have a group number one with Citrine, group number two with Chris Oppress, and group number three with the Smoky Quartz. So please choose your group now and let's get started. Start off with group number one with Citrine. Also, if you'd like to check out my private reading rates are all down below, along with my Instagram as well. If you'd like to check me out on there, I love talking to you guys, messaging you guys and going live and I also go live here on YouTube as well. So if you're not subscribed, please do give me a like and comment if you resonate. If you have anything to say about this reading, I'd love to know. Thank you so much for being here on my side of YouTube and let's get started with group number one with the Citrine and let's see what's coming towards you guys in your future for the next few months. So let's go start with Citrine and Let's go. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for your next big chapter. So your career, moving, relationships, all that beautiful stuff, the next big chapter for you, because I know a lot of you guys are going through a lot of changes. So, okay, so we have the crystal for abundance and prosperity. So Citrine is just generally amazing for confidence and solar plexus stuff. So anything to do with solar plexus is amazing. So let's see what we've got. So we have Citrine, capitalizes on your skills and talents, stimulating your mind. This stone of creativity facilitates seeing new possibilities and actualizing them. And what I love about this is also is really good for hormone and immune system. So if you guys are really struggling with your immune system or a lot of hormonal changes, then this is going to be really, really good for you guys. So and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do need a little bit of confidence in the job department. So so yeah, so let's pick a few oracle cards and then we're gonna pick some tarot after that. So let's see, let's see some animal omens. What animals do you need to see right now for your future prediction? Let's see. What have we got coming up, you guys? Ooh, I love the peacock. Peacocks are so beautiful. Okay, let's get one more. We have the deer. I love this. Okay, let's put her there. Okay, so a lot of you guys are very gentle and a lot of you guys really struggle with kind of showing yourself off and kind of getting comfortable with being seen and things like that. Sorry guys, if you can't really see them and the light's probably in the way. Let me put my little selenite behind this card so you can see a little bit better. So what I really like about these two so the peacock is all about showing yourself off and kind of showing your feathers and it's also about being in your masculine because peacocks are the male. So what I feel like for a lot of you guys is you're balancing out your masculine and your feminine. You're getting more comfortable with asserting yourself. You are also coming into a career that facilitates a lot more of your feminine side. So a lot of you guys are going to be going into things like care and being a nurse or anything from anything like holistic. You could be being really in your creativity, which is really nice. And I also feel a masculine for you to be supported with. So I do feel like you may be attracting in some really nice men or people who are more in their masculine to help you push your career to the next level. And I feel like also these people could be helping Helping you with money they could also be helping you in your home life i feel like just generally you have some extra support which is really good which i don't know if you guys have really had that before um so there's definitely a lot of new support coming in for you guys which is really really nice and i also really like the fact that we've got the citrine because it just shows me like a lot of you guys are coming into such light energy which is really nice and <clears throat> oh my throat chakra the deer is very gentle and they're also very feisty like if you like if you get on the wrong side of a deer they can you know they can get really kind of angry so but they're more feisty rather than like aggressive so i feel like for a lot of you guys you're coming into this more assertive part of you but being more gentle about it rather than just being like full-on masculine and full-on like aggressive you're being really gentle about your assertion as well which is really nice especially being in your feminine as well like if you are a woman and you're really struggling to kind of assert yourself especially if you are more on the gentle side <clears throat> or you're more <clears throat> sorry guys or if you're more sensitive then a lot of you guys are getting more grounded in your body i feel like a lot of you guys get more comfortable with just being like no i'm not having that 
I am putting my foot down and I also feel like a lot of you guys are getting recognition with your heart. So the green in both of these cards are very much to do with the heart chakra, which is about coming into your feminine energy and just really being recognized for that, which is really nice. Yay. And then we have the cobra, which is really nice, very strong masculine energy. So the cobra is all about shedding that skin. It's all about being really kind of like seeing things really, really clearly. So if there's any kind of mess in your life, you're going to see it really clearly. If anyone's messing you around, you are just going to attack it really quickly. And I also also feel like your ideas especially creative ideas when it comes to projects and things like that i just burped so i had to pause the video um <clears throat> oh god so much throat chakra stuff in this reading i'm coughing and i'm burping um it is confirmation though which is good there's definitely all the ideas that you're having you are actually executing them now so you could be writing a book you could be doing some poetry you could be starting a channel you could be starting a tv show i'm not sure but there's something where you're being seen more which is really good Okay, so let's get you some more cards. So those were the um, animal spirit cards. So I would like to just pull a couple of the essential oil cards and then we're going to um, pull some tarot. So let's see. Okay, let's get you a couple of these. So we've got Soothes, Comforts and Brins Transcendence. So this is for you guys who need a bit of assistance um, emotionally. So if you guys need anything, or physically as well, emotionally and physically, these could be really, really good essential oils for you going into your next chapter. So we have Myrrh, we have Sandalwood, so very masculine ones, like really kind of going back to the trees and the roots and things like that. And then we have Ylang Ylang, Unleashes, Sensuality and Heals the Heart. That's really, really nice i love that okay so there's definitely a preparation of you coming into relationship with people i feel like you're preparing for your relationships i feel like you're preparing for a big like coming into a really long-term relationship i feel that's kind of what i'm getting from this reading and i also feel like a lot of you guys are learning to just really ground your body through some big changes because where there's so much transformation it can be really hard to ground yourself so that is really really good and that's pretty much all they're saying <laughs> like i feel like a lot of you guys need to go to a spa as well if you guys haven't had time to go to a spa they are really urging you to do that and they want to just pull a couple more crystals as well they're kind of getting they're doing more of like a practical reading for this reading so they're doing um the more practical stuff like you know crystals and things like that okay so let's get you a couple of crystal cards see what else you need we have rhodochrosite enhancing relationships and then we also have aquamarine, clairvoyance and enhanced perception. So these two I'm going to recommend as well. Rhodochrosite is absolutely amazing. It opens the heart chakra, same with aquamarine. Aquamarine is also really good for the throat. So if you guys are struggling to express yourself, if you want to create more harmonious relationships, and I also just feel like a lot of you guys are getting ready to open up to a new relationship. So that's why they're really like attacking the heart chakra here. <laughs> like I don't mean attack it in a bad way. It's more about just like getting really open and getting comfortable with expressing that heart stuff. But it's definitely a allowing you to like flow with the stress like if you ever feel scared of expressing yourself or you're you know you're getting closer to somebody which I do feel like a lot of you guys will be getting closer to somebody um romantically and you're really stressed out about how to kind of like be vulnerable without stressing yourself out too much these two are kind of easing you into that which is really really nice I love that very quick messages for this group okay so let's get you some tarot then they want to pull me towards my classic tarot which is bundled up in a box here so let me just undo this this baby and we'll get some classic tarot okay so do we want to do each one or overall? We just, they just say, let's just do an overall spread. Okay, so overall spread for career, for your home life, everything like that. We're looking at the bigger, the really big stuff, because definitely everyone is going through some sort of scorpionic something or other. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Oof, yes, hello. We definitely need to use the selenite today. Sorry, guys, I know my lighting is probably a bit too strong, but okay. 
Ace of Wands, hello, that is beautiful. Yeah, so you guys are being pushed to, to leave something behind. Um, something that's just been really old and outdated. It could be an old home, it could be an old job. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are leaning more into uh, the fear, which is good. Like you're leaning more into just letting it be, like whatever happens, happens. I'm hearing que sera, sera. What will be, will be. <laughs> that cool is what I'm hearing. I think that's the right words for it. Sorry if I got that wrong. Um, okay, so let's see. Ooh, girl, 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 girl. Are you moving in with your partner? Because it feels like there's something big here. Oh my God. Okay, so a lot of you guys are kind of worried about moving or changing, but this is all really good stuff. This is basically saying like, yes, you're moving, it's scary, but you're meant to move and it's you're meant to do it. I'm just gonna move this like, leaf out of the way so we can get another card in. What's this two of cups? nice so a childhood gentle in a child relationship so you're going to be attracting someone in who's really good for you so this can be somebody who is more of a mother figure i'm picking up for like two different scenarios so it depends on you know what your soul is ready for i don't know i'm not an all-knowing being but the universe is so what i feel for a lot of you guys is this could be for example, it could be a mother figure who's really, really gentle and looks after you. It could be somebody who's even your landlady, who I don't know. I don't know a lot of landladies who are like this, but if you meet someone like this and that's amazing, it could be even a mother or grandmother who is your, ends up being your landlady. Um, so also it could be that as well. And or you meet a partner who is so good for your inner child, who is so gentle, so loving. And I'm seeing just a, person wrapping their arms around you and giving you a big cuddle and they're just so loving and cute they're very piscean like really really piscean okay lovely balancing things out i love it love 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 so the temperance is really really nice the temperance is basically saying girl you got this just make sure to balance stuff out if needed so if you're inputting so much money into something make sure to save if you can if you are struggling with money make sure to really ask if you like ask for assistance don't be afraid to ask for assistance it's okay and i also feel like a lot of you guys need to just slow down like like life is really stressful at the moment especially um but remember like you are here for a reason and it's okay it's okay to not know everything and i know it's really stressful but you really don't have to have all the answers like i know i am really channeling right now and my human victorian victoria self would be like wow life is stressful but my intuitive self is like, you've got this, you're here for a reason, it's okay, we're just awakening, everything's good. Um, and your intuition, and you're just gonna, your intuition is heightening, and you're just gonna get more sensitive, which I know is stressful, but it is gonna be okay. So whatever changes you're going through, whatever big, big changes, you are gonna meet some new tribe friends, which is really good. You're gonna meet people most likely through work, especially if you are changing your job. Um, if there is any changes within your work, whether you're moving department or something like that, um, it's gonna benefit you more. So you're not gonna miss out. And also the more assertive you're being, the more you're getting out of your work. So that's really, really great. Don't be afraid to put your foot down. Um, everything's gonna be absolutely fine. Everything is gonna be a-okay. So I'm gonna pull a couple more cards just to confirm this and then we'll, Hmm, I want to pull a couple of astrology cards as well, actually. So let's see. I'm going to pull a couple of crystal cards first. Crystal Grid Oracle. I'm pretty sure this one is called. Yes, the bigger picture. Love it. And then we also have foundations. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? And then we have Prosperity. This card keeps coming up. This this group is definitely heart chakra based. So if you are really stressed out and you're like, Victoria, I don't know what to do. Like I want to do a job that I love, but I'm, you know, I'm going to earn enough money. Yes, you just got to focus on what you got to do in the meantime. Like stop focusing on, will this work out? Blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you can possibly go back to your old job or you can do a job that you know, pays a bit more once you've figured out that maybe it isn't going to work. What's the worst case scenario you end up with not a lot of money? Like, it's not the end of the world. You can borrow money. Like, this isn't to do with your self-worth. Remember, money isn't always to do with your self-worth, okay? But at the end of the day, like, you are doing the best you can, but they're really urging you to really focus on your heart and do something that you really want to do because you're always focusing on everyone else and it's stressing you out and it's not helping you. So it, you really do need to just focus on what you really love because the world needs your creativity. Like, think of a job that is really going to help humanity. Like, it not, not in a massive big picture way, like, in the sense where it's like, oh, I have to, like, you know, help everyone who 
is you know going through mental health issues so yes you can you're not going to help everyone but it's like little steps at a time like my general knowledge about what's going on in the world right now my intuitive input is do a job that's going to help humanity that you think is going to really help the world and if it's selling candles if it's selling soaps if it's being you know a holistic practitioner anything as long as you love it and you're really comfortable with it like that is a good sign and even if you're not doing a job you really want to do at least you are really putting in that work to help yourself like this is a process and you don't have to have all the answers right this second okay it is going to get a lot better and basically you're just going through growing pains so it's okay like growing pains are not comfortable i've had them they're horrible um and five five is all about change so it's okay to go through this change and it's just a massive confirmation like change is messy like the number five just is messy to me i don't like number five it is too messy for me um but it serves its purpose it's there to be you know to show you that there's change and also mess is okay like it's okay to be messy like my virgo and my scorpio self is like control everything have everything perfect but it's also how i've been brought up is i was never allowed to be messy so when things go awry and i've no idea what's going on like i get really freaked out but it's like girl it's okay like you can have things messy like you don't have to have everything perfect all the effing time um i also see you walking through like a desert and you're really enjoying yourself you're like oh it's so peaceful here so you are kind of you're moving more into a more natural place in your life like you're not wanting all those fancy things you just want like a really simple life so hi if you want to join me on my farm please do um i can't wait to have my farm and live off grid so if you want to come on my farm please feel free um but yeah there's definitely this energy of moving into things that are simple and plain so don't feel like you have to be like everyone in the world like you are here to be you and that is enough and if anyone makes you think that you're not enough then they're feeling like they're not enough and move away from them because honestly it's not going to make you feel good and that is a massive confirmation for those of you struggling in your relationships okay so a lot of you guys are going to have a lot of capricorn changes with this group this group is definitely the capricorn group where a lot of you guys are going through just really really big changes um there's a lot of uh big stuff like really big 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 transformations like this is stuff that's going to last a long time i'm seeing a job that could last five ten years maybe more um definitely moving house for a job if you would like to i also do see a new partner coming in especially if you move like you can definitely manifest a new partner because they're pushing us i feel towards our tribes our tribe people i think that's why a lot of us are moving like that's what i get intuitively so it's okay and if any retrogrades are happening when you're doing this stuff it will feel harder i know it will feel like you're being pulled backwards um but it's actually a good thing because what it does is every step you take um every step forward you take you are basically having to go back into the past just to make sure you're making the right decisions there's nothing bad it just is a it's just a confirmation it's kind of like when you put your details into like and like your credit card and it's like can you confirm your email address it's like it's really irritating because you've already put your email address in but they're basically saying like it's just confirming and a lot of the people you're going to meet are going to be really high vibe people like people who are on your wavelength so if you have a strong connection with god so will they if you have a strong connection with the universe so will they if you love cycling they'll love cycling if you love hairdressing they'll love hairdressing like this is definitely you coming back to yourself and i also feel like these people are gonna come at you with warm embrace which is really nice and i think you really really deserve that like you deserve to have somebody who really connects to you on an emotional level um you haven't had that for such a long time these people could also be from a different um part of the part of the world um they could be i feel like a lot of the people you're going to be around are women um if you are a male I feel like a mix of male and female but if you are a woman i feel like more just a lot of females i think we just need a lot of feminine and females to just come together at the moment is what i get as well so yeah that is your reading um they just want to say can we wrap up with one more card so yes we will do that um let me grab one of these <clears throat> let's get one of these cards <laughs> this card always makes me laugh patience because it comes up of course when we're not being patient so this is basically saying like 
oh, I'm hearing that song again, that que sera, sera. <laughs> like you literally are on the right path. I know it's scary. I know things are feeling uncertain, I know, but life is uncertain. And if we were living in tribes, it would be so much easier, but we're not. So there we go. It is stressful, it is scary it's gonna be okay like it will be okay and also this kind of reminds me of life where it's like it's smooth in other areas but there's random like bits that just come at you at random times um yeah just this emphasis on it's okay to be messy and i feel like a lot of you guys need to take action at the moment so if there's anything that you need to do do it like do it now or forever hold your peace so that is your reading have a great day rates are below if you would like a private reading and i'll speak to you very very soon Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Wow, I really am getting that you guys are going to meet someone really special. And I also get that this is a moving house group. So if you are moving house, hi, welcome to the club. We've got jackets and new keys for our doors. Um, <laughs> This is the moving group. So a lot of you guys will be moving. If you're not already, you probably will be moving probably within the next eight to 10 months. Um, hi this is great so what i feel for a lot of you guys is you've this reminds me of like a little mountain um a lot of you guys have climbed the mountain you've done it you've done, you've done it when you're, you're on the other side now you're pretty much like halfway down the mountain now um if you want to get specific so i feel like a lot of you guys are reminds me of the climb by miley cyrus and now i'm getting like country singers so you might be really into country singers at the moment and like playing the guitar i don't know um but what i feel for a lot of you guys is there's definitely you're getting connected with connections you're getting connected with new people who are just like you and the reason why you haven't connected with these people yet is because you were in like a massive karmic cycle <clears throat> of releasing past hurt. So you kept attracting people from this hurt place, um, which isn't any fault of your own. It just is just how it is. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are definitely repairing that with other people. Um, now you're coming into these relationships with new people. So I see a red door. I see a lot of red around this new home. So if you are moving, you know, this is for you. I'm sorry if you guys aren't moving, but hold on, there's probably a, a a message in here for you as well but if you are moving i do see a red door um i see brown brick and i see also like a very calm energy around this building and i feel like it's quite small like it's low it's not a very high building so i don't feel like it's a flat or a tall building but it's, if you are in a flat that's a completely different message so i will go into that as well i feel like a lot of you guys like classic houses like cottages cabins things like that you are getting drawn to more green areas and i also feel like you might be going to america or larger um states when you are probably like next year i feel like for a lot of you guys you are going to be drawn more towards woodland areas like bigger like um, national parks so if you don't live near national parks you will be drawn more towards that um, and i also see you doing like a hiking group oh my god your person if you are wanting to attract a person like a partner your person you might meet for a hiking group <clears throat> this person also could be really into hiking sorry guys my throat chakra is doing something the person you're going to meet also is very interested in you like they love what you do they're really interested in like the way you think about life and they haven't really met anyone like you and they're just so fascinated by you and this is going to kind of freak you out at first so if you are very nervous around new people it's okay like just like breathe into it and just be very honest with yourself and if they don't like you then that's probably not the right person for you like don't feel like you have to force your way in and also i'm seeing that any people that aren't good for you will literally fall away from your life within the next well i'm being broad about it like five months could be any anything as quick as two weeks but i feel like you're not going to be around any toxic people anymore like you will notice them and you won't be around them anymore but definitely like your relationships like any men or women depending on who you're attracted to these people need to fall out of your life so do not hold on to anyone who is not willing to stay in your life okay so also if people are not respectful for you they do not deserve a seat on your table okay do not feed them all right so we have chrysoprase i actually don't know a lot about chrysoprase which is saying something because i know a lot about crystals this one i don't really have a lot of relationship with so maybe i will in the future so this is a crystal for personal insights so let's have a little looky and let's see what this card says so this is a apple green and lemon yellow opaque 
reflect crystal. It's really good for infertility, eyes, skin, heart, thyroid, hormonal balance, digestive system. Healing codependence, chrysoprase supports independence while encouraging commitment. It reviews egotistical motives and the effect on personal development aligning ideals with behavior. Overcoming compulsive or impulsive thoughts and actions, this stone turns your attention to positive events. It opposes judgmentalism, stimulates acceptance of yourself and others, and assists forgiveness and compassion. Hold the stone to prevent speaking out unthinkingly in anger. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you guys are going to also go into new situations and are gonna get a lot of personal insights, especially around career. If you want to um, get close to anyone, like if you wanna collaborate, I really see collaborations happening, especially next year. Not really this year, next year more, there's like a shaking up energy that's happening. So there's a lot of new people coming into your life people falling out almost like you're being sieved like you're going for a sieve you're the sieve and you're having you're in charge of who you get to shake away out of your life i'm also picking up you're going to attract a lot of like grounded brown energy and that sounds really weird to say like that but there's a lot of like i'm seeing like the color chocolate i'm seeing maybe you need a bit of like cacao in your body i don't know um but there's a sense of like getting really down and dirty with the ground like you're getting much more closer to the earth so you're probably growing your own food soon if you can you're probably um being around people who are more closer to nature there's definitely this sense of getting really in your root chakra um and your body's definitely filtering out as well which is really good so a lot of the stuff you've gone through health wise um i am picking up a lot of it is starting to clear it will get worse possibly before it gets better i'm not a doctor so please take this with a grain of salt but what i feel is you might get a few ascension symptoms so you might get things that are worse and then they'll just go like that is what it's like i literally i had like chest pains for like five days and i felt like i couldn't literally couldn't breathe and I have always had chest pains ever since I was very very young and I literally felt like I needed to go to the hospital but I knew I didn't have to like I knew this was literally ascension symptoms and I'm a very sensitive gal so if I'm feeling it most people will so and, and then it just cleared after like a couple of days and I really feel like I mean I did do things to help it I am more on the holistic like sort of vibe so I tried like turmeric and I tried like vitamins and things like that and it did dissipate I just generally feel like we're clearing out so much crud from our system like we just have to let it all go basically okay so we have chrysoprase i love her so let's get some more cards so we're going to get a few more uh, oracle cards first so let's see what wants to come through so i'm going to recommend you guys a couple of essential oil cards these are really good just if you're going through anything or just like it's good to know what you're going through emotionally so let's see what can support you during this time of transformation we have promotes calm and peace <laughs> yes please that'd be fab <laughs> love that so we have roman chamomile i love that you can probably find this as well it looks like it it looks like it'll probably um be around i mean <clears throat> maybe not anymore it's probably more of an earlier like june july um flower but if you've got it around in your garden or whatever definitely have a look spearmint yeah spearmint is so good for the throat chakra so definitely give that a go um let's get one more um spearmint revitalizes and refreshes the spirit <clears throat> and you can get spearmint tea <clears throat> yep throat chakra stuff sorry guys okay let's see let's get one more we have cassia promotes courage and strength so there's lots of like like i said like quite grounding um earthy herbs this one is looks like a lot like cinnamon so cinnamon could also be great i'm not too like well versed on cassia but the fact that it provides courage and strength is really nice i really want to look at this one uh in the book so this is roman chamomile so let's have a look at that one first so let's see what that one is so 94 let's see okay so roman chamomile roman chamomile is believed to help alleviate anger irritability agitation stress and shock it soothes feelings of frustration and helps us feel pers purposeful it simultaneously simultaneously calms and brightens our mood and it tells you about all the different things it's really good for physically like lower back pain menstrual cramps stress teething pain rashes insomnia aging skin depression all that beautiful stuff the earth provides and we just take from it it's just yeah it's the perfect combination 
<laughs> and she keeps growing so it's all good <laughs> okay so let's have a look and see what we get from the tarot and then we'll pull a few more oracle cards okay so let's get you guys some tarot and we'll see what wants to come out so we're going to pull some classic tarot see what wants to come out for you we have the chariot boom moving forward super super quickly this is my little stand because of the light moving forward really really quickly love it Whoop. Page of Swords, you guys, if you're looking for a job at a new, like if you're moving and you're needing to have a new job, I see that coming in within about like a month. Um, they want you to look for jobs that you know you're gonna enjoy, but you're also, make sure to be really open about the amount of money that you wanna get. Like don't shoot under for what you want. Like if you need to get a certain amount of money a month, like make sure to shoot for that. Like don't shoot under that because it doesn't mean you're not gonna get the job. Like, don't think like you, that you can't get that. Okay, so there's definitely a shedding of the old. Um, gossip is gonna kind of be in the past. Like, you're not gonna have a lot of gossip anymore, which is really good. Um, I also see there's some new communication coming in. There will be some people like really like, I'm seeing people literally crawling out of a grave, like zombies. Like, these are all your old friends and stuff coming out from the past. So there's definitely some people who want to come back and talk to you, especially if you've moved or you've got a new relationship or something like that. They're gonna wanna come and kind of come in your zone. Um, so make sure to gear up with some black crystals to kind of protect yourself. Black crystals are amazing for protection. Um, there's definitely this sense of just clearing out. Um, for a lot of you guys, there isn't a lot of work kind of information from this group. So I'm sorry if you guys wanted to know about your work life, but there's more about kind of home and relationships for this group. There's definitely new relationships being formed. I can feel that. And there's a lot of like Capricornian energy. So there's not much to do with work. There's definitely some people you're, be you're meeting through work, which is really, really nice. Um, there's also a need for you to listen to your intuition more. It's almost like they don't want you to see what's going on, they want you to feel into it. So if you're looking for a new job or looking for a new house, they want you to feel into that new opportunity. They don't want you to focus on like what you can't have and things like that, yeah, ease into it. Like don't try and force anything. I know timing can be really annoying. Like sometimes we just have to get stuff. Um, sometimes we can't, you know, avoid the timing. But for you guys, it is this gonna come naturally? Yes, you're going to have a place that has a lot more space. Oh, that rhymed. And you're probably gonna have a place of work that has a lot more space as well, that like you're allowed to feel more spacious. Um, you're probably gonna be allowed to make more concrete decisions. And they're also just saying patience because everything is in divine timing, as stressful as it is, it really is in divine timing. Like there isn't really <clears throat> anything that you can do to really push things forward. Um, but if you would like to, they just want you to really just relax. Like your immune system is kind of being shot at the moment because of how much stress you're going through. They want you to really focus on your immune system, bulking that up with vitamins and any herbs, anything like that. Even tea is really good for you guys. Um, but for a lot of you guys, honestly, there isn't a lot of information coming through. It's mainly just getting you to be more comfortable with being yourself because your group is more kind of open and open-ended. It's not really any kind of information needs to happen. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've got it sorted. It mainly is more about you, yeah, having inward courage, having inward strength to kind of go through these changes. Um, and also realizing like you are protected and like your angels are with you and your guides are with you. And if you have any, if you have any like ancestors and spirit that you really connect to, talk to them like they're there for you. We have 49, 34 and 58 for your numbers as well. I'm getting, picking up on a fox, a fox for your omen, a fox and a horse. A fox is like being really sneaky and like it's all about close relationships, things like that. So getting a relationship is definitely on the horizon for you guys. And horses are all about freedom and learning how to be free without having to have so much restriction around you. Yeah, exactly. Protection is so important. If you feel any dodgy vibes from people, you're probably right. So just be really aware that it's okay to have boundaries. Like this card says, it's okay to have boundaries. It's okay to uh, protect yourself and realize like, don't let people mess you around. Like if someone is trying to mess you around, then speak your truth and express how you feel. Because I really feel like for a lot of you guys, it is just about having open communication. And even if it's uncomfortable, a lot of the time it is uncomfortable, especially if you're not used to expressing yourself. Um, yeah, I just feel like everything's going to come in, in time. It really, really is. And even though it might not feel like it, 
it is going to be so good for you guys it's going to be so good so fun and i think a lot of you guys aren't actually used to having that much fun like you're kind of just used to having rubbish thrown at you so it is going to take some time to get used to having fun like i know it sounds really strange but we live in a very toxic society and it's very very stressful and it can be really hard for us to have fun because we're constantly you know having to do what they want us to do so any uh messages around career home life work anything like that oh lovely so you are definitely getting recognition in your work life um if you have any creative ideas they want you to really execute it like you're probably going to get more creative ideas by the end of the year so if i'm releasing this around september you're probably going to get more ideas around december they just want you to get settled first they want you to focus on one thing at a time life is not perfect and you are perfect as you are but they really just want you to know like you've got this you've got this sorted everything's going to be fine there's just major transformation and a lot of travel as well there's going to be a lot of travel um and a lot of things are going to be concrete in the next few months like you are probably going to have a job solidified in your life and home life solidified too especially if you're pretty much out the door like if you're pretty much ready to move i think a lot of you guys will find something and something that really suits your inner child as well and you're really going to have place that's stable within i, I think within within three months october feels really good for you guys um halloween like that kind of time you probably will find a, a home as well so i know this is a timeless reading but within about a month a month to three months you're probably going to find your space of, of uh of work and home especially if you work from home that'll be even better so that is your reading i hope you enjoyed it if you'd like a personal private reading with me then please give me a message on instagram or email thank you so much and i'll speak to you very very soon bye hello group number three okay guys so as soon as i put the card on the table i got this massive energy around like expansion and full force like feminine female full <laughs> fiery energy like all the f's um and i also got the a lot of you guys want to become famous or you might end up knowing someone famous there's something about fame and kind of being recognized and things like that so what i feel is if you are wanting to start a job where you are wanted to get recognized more or you're doing a job that you just want to enjoy more that is definitely on its way to you um a lot of you guys are just feeling very very stressed out your nervous system is being really attacked so you've got to be careful with the environments that you're around if you're around a lot of people like make sure your immune system's really good make sure you're bulking up on those good foods those greens those vitamins all that stuff i know it's really easy to just have something sugary and forget the whole thing but honestly as we're coming into winter as well as i'm filming this it is really important to make sure your immune system's really strong and just focus on more healthier living for you guys i feel like a lot of you guys might be focusing on weight loss um there's a lot of like health stuff around this group so i'm not going to obviously go too deep into it but there's definitely a sense of like um looking at the surface of stuff so like your immune system and like your, your um, skin and your outer body and like seeing okay what can i change i'm picking up like apples would be really good for you guys so if you're struggling with like your digestive digestion um like maybe you can't go to the toilet i don't know whatever it is apples are very good like i love apples for my stomach they are great and your girl's got a sensitive stomach your girl is a virgo rising she needs good stuff for her stomach even though i don't feed myself good stuff a lot of the time i like my coffee okay so yeah we've got grounding and anchoring got smoky quartz smoky quartz is so good for new changes because it kind of cleanses you as you go along every day and it kind of just affirms like you are protected it's like a protection and it's a protection and grounding crystal like it's very good for that a lot of you guys are struggling with a little bit of ocd is what i'm picking up so i just want to say that i have gone through it it's, it's really horrible that's just like scratching the surface it's like the worst thing i've probably ever been through and for you guys i really feel as it has a uh message for you guys who are struggling with that i just want to say like be very very patient with yourself as much as you can like it is to do with like a lot of it's to perfect perfectionism and growing up in a perfectionistic family so being kind to yourself as much as possible through it is very 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 important it's almost like you're a mother yourself through it that is just one thing i would say about that okay because i don't want to cover too much health in this reading because your girl is not 
a doctor. Okay, so smoky quartz is a highly versatile healer. It is particularly effective for ailments of the abdomen, hips, and legs. It provides pain relief and dissolves cramps. Traditionally, it strengthens the back and fortifies the nerves. It also works on the kidneys and other organs of elimination to remove toxins from the body. Stabilizes emotions, overcomes fear and lack of trust, and lifts the depression. And it's a very earthy and high vibing crystal. I love smoky quartz, it's so fun. And I love it for dousing as well. Um, getting it as a dousing crystal because I don't know, it just has this really like rounding sense to it. Like it's very good at getting like strong messages through. So I love that. So, okay, let's get you some cards. Let's see what's to come through for your reading. And we will try and focus on a certain element like work or home or anything like that. Um, but whatever comes out, we're just going to see. Some of these, like each group seems to focus on certain things. So we'll see what you guys are needing to focus on. I feel like for you guys, it's more like your mental and physical health. Um, okay, so this one wanted to come out first. I love this one. I love the, the dark green in the middle. This is watermelon tourmaline. And we've got the release card as well, which is 35. We've got 43 and 35. Let's get one more. I love the green. Oh, yummy. Yummy green. And then we have intuition. Oh, I love that. It says you. It doesn't say a crystal. It says you. I love that. That's so cute. So yeah, it's really putting an emphasis on your sense of self-worth and your way around your life. Like you are in charge and I feel scary, but I do feel like it needs to be a release of some kind going into this new transformation because a lot of you guys are holding on to the past and it's becoming really toxic. It's kind of like when you haven't, I know it sounds really weird, but like when you haven't gone to the toilet for a long time and it starts to feel really gross in your body and it starts to kind of harbor up like bacteria and you know, you're not, you're just not, you're feeling backed up. It feels like you can't move forward. Um, that's what I'm feeling. A lot of you guys are just really struggling with um, change and that's okay. Um, but I want you to know that you just gotta like really focus on your body at this time. I know it's like something extra to focus on, but it will help. And I feel like things like eliminating sugar and wheat out of your diet can be very, very helpful. And this is me like trying not to like talk about health. <laughs> okay, so what I feel like is a lot of you guys are feeling very kind of attacked in the heart chakra area. You might be grieving a lot of like old stuff. Um, so if you are going through big, big changes, like you are going to be supported. I don't feel like a lot of you guys are moving jobs or moving house right now, but you may be thinking about it. You might be thinking, okay, I need to do this, but I'm not sure how, I'm not sure why, when, blah, blah, blah. It is gonna happen. Um, I just feel like you need to do one thing at a time. Like if you're not ready to move, you're not ready to, to travel or whatever, don't, like don't do it. Like just because everyone else is doing it or people are, are saying, oh, maybe you should do that. Like this is your life. Like if you're not ready, you are not ready. And what's the point in forcing yourself if you are not ready, okay? It's not any point in doing that, okay? All right, so let's get you a couple more cards here. Let's see what we have. So let's get you a couple of essential oils to help you with this transformation, this change. We have Clary Sage, balances and clarifies. I love that, that is exactly what you guys need. So if you guys wanna sage your house, if you can, if you haven't got smoke alarms, highly recommend. We have cilantro, which is balances and expands the mind. That feels really masculine to me. Um, yeah, that feels really good. So if you need a bit of mask energy, highly recommend. Bergamot, brighten spirits and attracts prosperity. So I love that. So those three. So we have a clary sage. Sorry guys, you can't really see it because of the light. We've got clary sage, we have uh, cilantro and bergamot. So highly recommend. Um, some of you guys, this is so random, but some of you guys might be starting a jewelry line. Like if you like to make jewelry, like bracelets, necklaces, stuff like that, they really are like saying, go for it. Like I'm hearing, but I'm not gonna make too much money. Like girl, you will. Like I feel like a lot of you guys are just so stressed out. It really is one step at a time, my love. And also you need to have space. Like if you don't have space internally, how the F are you gonna move forward? You can't. How are you gonna get any messages? You can't. So. Yeah, I think you need to turn off your phone as well. And for some of you guys that's like, oh my God, no, I don't wanna do that. If you're feeling like that, when I said that, it, you need to turn off your phone. Like you need to get away from your phone and also stop sleeping next to your phone. Like you need an alarm clock. <laughs> I feel like such a mum right now, but it's true. You are getting too many EMF waves. Like it's just gonna not be good for you, okay? All right, so, have I zoomed out enough? 
yes okay so let's get you some tarot we'll see what wants to come through they are urging me to pull some of these cards first no nope. okay they're saying do it afterwards all right so let's do some tarot first oh i love this so this is basically like your inner child oh, sorry guys i need to bet your inner child is kind of like just popping out of the woodwork that's why things are just really stressful for you at the moment because you are coming into this new version of you that wants to play and wants to be more free and girl you just have that so yeah this is literally going from the child to the adult and that's basically what i see for a lot of you guys sorry if you can't really see that because the lighting um yeah you're going from the child to the adult so no wonder everything feels really stressful like that's why they're urging you to play because you've got a lot of options to do that and i feel like if you are on a break or if you are stressed stressed out from like a breakup or there's something about like going through a bit of like pain or trauma um put yourself first it's so important to grieve through processes like this has come from somebody who is very highly emotional so when i don't actually grieve through things it gets backed up like you will have to deal with it later and that's the last thing you need to deal with so i actually feel like if you know anyone who you know possibly has a job offer i do see a friend coming with a job offer for some of you guys um there may be a friend wanting to move in with you so if you're wanting to move, I do feel like a friend might want to move in with you. If you don't know anyone, I do see a roommate you could meet online to move in with you. I also feel like a lot of you guys need to move out of your current environment. Like if, you, if it's feeling too polluted, get out. Like it's really affecting your cells in your body. Okay, I'm sorry I'm getting so much body stuff in this group. Like I really don't mean to like include so much body stuff. But they're really saying that to me. And please take this with a grain of salt because it is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, okay. All right, so <laughs> some of you guys are getting a really unexpected person coming in and you're like, ill. <laughs> um, you can, I can see like, first of all, this is kind of, this is like so like obvious what's going on. So you're going from this inner child work to the adult, right? You're integrating both sides of you. You then get an offer for a job that brings you towards a new person who you're not too sure about because you're like, okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, that's what I see so if you're single very good if you are not single then i do feel like a lot of you guys will be expressing like your real true feelings with your partner a lot more than usual which is really good um and i also feel like the the star card is coming up so if there's any big changes they're going to happen within the next couple of months okay the wheel is turning you need to move out you need to move on like you need to do that now I have no idea why but I'm getting the Smurfs. That is so random. Okay, let's get some more cards. Love it. So everything is working out in divine time, my love. I know it's stressful, but it is working out. Um, I also feel like if you would like to make any changes to do with your creativity, like if you're not being creative enough, they want you to like meditate on it um, because every like, creativity comes in waves so if you meditate on it you can actually get a few good creative ideas and they also want you to possibly find a job that pays more but you have to you can work less because i'm hearing i work too many hours and it's it's not possible for you like you are stressing yourself out i'm seeing like this almost looks like a gymnast where like this is her feet and this is her her stomach and this is her head here and she, i'm hearing i'm bending over backwards for my boss um so i feel like a lot of you guys need to be really honest with how many hours you're actually doing um and i know it's scary but looking for another job would be a good idea even if you're just looking because you want to give yourself this sense of choice because it isn't it isn't like the end of the world if you can't do this job because for some of you guys we just don't know our capacity like it's okay to not know our capacity and if you are going overboard you know life is stressful okay like you can make it easier for yourself you don't have to suffer like we suffer enough you know like we really do um okay so we've got career public life reputation there's definitely some big changes to do with money and your physical life um i know there might be a few things that are out of your control right now i'm hearing like i have to move out and i don't want to so i know how it feels I really really do I've, I'm, I've been there um kind of still there um but honestly it is for your highest good and i know it's stress is stressful when people say that but what i feel is they're showing me like they're pointing me in a direction where it's like you it's kind of like you take the sat nav 
in your car and it takes you a certain route but then you end up going a different a whole different route and then you just end up completely out of nowhere no idea where you are that's basically what i feel is happening it doesn't mean you're in the wrong place it just means you don't know where you're going it just means like it's it's changed and it's okay so it's a big transformation it's not like it's something that you would choose but why does it have to be something you choose you know think about that for a little bit they're saying they want to google you would need to google some things so maybe you want to learn a new skill and maybe you need to learn like some information about it um but there's definitely some new stuff coming in you may even be connected to a new intimate partner you may even be connected to someone i actually feel like a lot of you guys are coming into a strong relationship like within about a year like, there's somebody new coming in but there's definitely uh, there's definitely a lot of inner child stuff happening um that's why you're grieving a lot it's okay to grieve like it's okay to not be sure about what's going on but I want you to know like this isn't going to be permanent okay it isn't going to last forever it's going to be okay so that is your reading i hope you have a lovely day um my rates for the private readings are down below have a great day my love and i'll speak to you very very soon bye